Hey guys, good afternoon. It's Daryl here. It is 1 p.m. Friday here on the East Coast. Um, I want to talk about Donald Trump today. I want to talk about something I, I just I don't understand. Um, how Trump supporters uh, back in 2016... They were very anti-government. The traditional Republican outlook was for small government. They, you know, Republicans, m much more so than Democrats, did not do, do not want government messing around with their choices. Uh, small, you know, small government uh, where, where the states, each individual state has more of a say in each ind individual town and each individual family. Um, that's you know, that's more the Republican outlook, and I can respect that. Now, you can see how the Republican Party has more or less ceased to exist. And what we have now is this Trumpism, this cult of Trump. And for the life of me, I just, I, I don't understand why, how, how Trump supporters aren't waking up to this. They, they haven't realized. So, well, some have. There's a, there's a very popular channel on here um, about Republicans that used to uh, that aren't going to vote for Trump, Republican voters against Trump. Anyway, take for instance, take for instance this the school situation. What we have here is government telling parents and teachers that you will send your child to school or pay the consequences or suffer the consequences. Not to mention, you know, not to mention just overlooking the health, the health situation. But I, I don't understand how Trump supporters can, can, can go along with this, just even in theory. That the government is telling you that you damn well better send your kids to school. Pandemic or no pandemic. I believe, I think today... Friday, I, I believe Florida is up to maybe 12,000 new cases already, or 11,000. Uh, scary, scary numbers. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I'm not saying at all that all schools should stay shut. I'm not saying that all should be open. I think the intelligent thing to do would be to take it on a case-by-case -case basis. Of course, that's how this whole pandemic should be dealt with, because it's different all across the country. But um, getting back to this, though. How Trump support supporters, the, these champions of small government, of not being told what to do. Take, for instance, the masks. You know, they wouldn't cover their mouth with a mask for 20 minutes when they went to store because they don't want the government telling them what to do. But they're going to turn around and obediently send their kids into school with a, a very good chance that they're sending their children into danger. Uh... You know, I know I've talked about this this school situation in the last couple of days, but to me, it's one of the most important stories that it's going on now. Besides for the Russian bounty situation, I'm going to get to that in another video. But um, in yesterday's video, I talked about how Trump and Pence both said that they it sounded like they were strong arming the CDC, that they were saying that the CDC's recommendations were were too expensive and, and too troublesome, too hard. Let me go over this again. The CDC's recommendations were that the kids wear masks, they space the desks six feet apart, they stagger the arrival times just by a matter of minutes so the kids aren't bunched up, they have the lunches in the classroom instead of the lunchroom. Um, there's a few others. Now, now tell me... How is that hard? How is that just too difficult, too costly? That doesn't make any sense. That's exactly what Trump says, too. So yesterday, so then today, the CD, I was right. I think the CDC was feeling like they were being strong-armed. And they said they will not change their recommendations. So you can expect, uh, you can expect some angry tweets, of course, from the, the child in charge. Um, you know, Trump has to get what he wants, but back to this though. So, you know, he, he's saying that all across the country, you must send your children to school. You know, 
No recommendations. They're, they're too costly and troublesome. Just send your kid to school. How are Trump supporters? How, how can they? How can they make? How can they rationalize this? Um, on one hand, they don't want to wear a cloth, a piece of cloth over their mouth for twenty minutes going to a store, because they don't want to be told what to do. But on the other hand, they are willing to send their children into a, a, a very possibly dangerous situation for, what, seven or eight hours every day for five days a week? Oh, that was another recommendation, too. I believe the CDC was talking about perhaps um, maybe less school days or staggering school days. I'm not sure about that one, but that was another recommendation. So, so how, can, how can Trump supporters rationalize this? You know, the champions of small government not being told what to do. And this, to me, this is one of the most egregious, one of the, the most, I think it shows his true nature to the core right here, where he, he's telling the entire country, you must send your children into the path of danger. And the, the most, the, this is something that makes me think that he is truly evil. The fact that he's saying those recommendations are somehow too too difficult or too costly, it, it's, it makes no sense whatsoever. But how, Trump supporters, how, how are you rationalizing this? How, how can you be so easily told, be ordered by the government to, to send your children into harm's way? But, you know, but you're the champions of small government. I, I don't get it. The interesting thing, too, I heard, too, uh, Trump's going through the whole, all the, he, he's basically putting all ages of Americans in danger, in, in danger of death. It started out with the nursing homes. The, the, the virus was originally um, affecting mostly older Americans in nursing homes. And a lot of Trump supporters, a lot of Trump w went along with the, the idea that, well, you know, they're older, it doesn't really matter. They, 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 they want to die for America. Remember that? Then last month or in June, Trump, it was the big push to get back to work. You know, just get back to normal. It doesn't matter if, you know, if the virus is still here, you know, if it's going to be dangerous, doesn't matter. We got to get up, got to get back to work. So at first he endangered the oldest, oldest generations. Then in June, it was the working age people, um, 30s, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. You know, get back to work. You know, you're just going to have to tough it out. If you get it, you get it. You know, it was, it was that kind of mentality. And now, finally, he's putting the youngest generations in, in the path of death. Um, and this is the worst one yet. You know, I've, like I said, I've talked about this the last couple of days. And I don't have kids, but I, I just, I, I'm just stupefied. Uh, I'm horrified that, uh, at what's going on. Um, ordering, ordering all children back to school. And, and then the, the, the obedient Trump supporters just going along with it. I, I, I'm very curious to, what's, to see what is going to happen. Thank God I don't have children at this point. Um, you know, I, I, I imagine most Trump supporters are going to send their kids back to school. There's states like mine that can get back to school safely. You know, we, our numbers here in Connecticut are very low, but in Florida, in Texas, in Arizona, you know, no, no. Um, one other thing, I noticed some other statistics about Trump keeps going on talking about the death rate. And uh, there was some interesting data I was reading that um, he, he, he still blames this on testing. If you watch my video where I talk about oh, we could get all the, rid of all the drunk drivers in America if we just got rid of sobriety checkpoints, it's just, it's one of the stupidest things I, I've ever heard. But uh, another thing on top of that, there's there's the, the actual data that shows that the deaths have increased, like in Florida, Arizona, Texas, the deaths have incre increased 1,000 times. But the testing has only increased maybe a, a hundredfold. So it doesn't match up. 
there's still way more deaths than can be accounted. And, and still, the, the testing, it just doesn't make any sense. But I'm getting off subject here. So let's, we'll see what happens. If Trump supporters are, are going to be told what to do by the government, obey the government, big government, send your kids into the, into the jaws of death for Donald Trump. Let's see what's going to happen. All right, you guys have a good Friday.